Michigan to the Supreme Court, a transgender woman's case is set to take center stage in Washington, D.C. today. As 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith explains, it's taken six years to get to this point. Matt joins us now live. And Matt, what are the expectations for this case? Well, one way or another, this case will make history. It is going to answer a long debated question, and it is answered differently depending if you live in one state or another. That key question, can your boss fire you because you're gay or transgender? Amy Stevens says that's what happened at her job in Garden City after she came out and transitioned from man to female. Then she lost her job. I got mad because I felt I'd been done wrong and that's why we pursued the court case we're in. And make no mistake, this will make history one way or another. Over the weekend, people were already lining up for Tuesday's hearing. The arguments heard today will be the first of their kind heard by the Supreme Court, essentially clarifying the law of the land when it comes to transgender rights. What we're talking about is whether the term sex in federal employment law means biological sex as it has since the law was first enacted, or whether it's going to be changed to include gender identity. The court will also take up a case of two men that say they were fired because they were gay. Uh, many people, many legal experts are saying this could eventually become the most consequential case that the justices look at during this term. So all eyes are on this Michigan case now at the Capitol at the Supreme Court. We're live this morning, Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.